Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a Victorinox Cyber Tool M. And this was loaned to the channel by Outside the Target Demographic. He was kind enough to send me actually several different models of his Victorinox knives and some that I had never even laid hands on before. Well, I've had I've, I've, I've been going back and forth, I had to go, go run to Houston, go do a quote on a, on a couple of different jobs, but I finally got back and had a chance to sit down and look at this one really, really closely. And th this is my first experience with the Cyber Tool, and I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed with the Cyber Tool, uh, more so than I ever thought I would be. Let's take a look at the Cyber Tool M. First, we'll get the specs out of the way. This overall is a 91 millimeter frame, so it's about three and nine sixteenths of an inch long overall. It's about an inch and a sixteenth wide, or about 27 millimeters. And thickness is right at one inch, is what I measured it at to its thickest point, so about 25 millimeters. This particular one comes with the, uh, what do they call them, the ruby translucent scales. So, and you'll notice one of the things that he does, and I could have changed it out, but I just decided to leave his in. He puts reflective paint on each of his implements on the scale tools so that uh, at a glance, or glow in the dark, I guess, uh, he could tell exactly which one he's got. And then uh, for any reason he ever dropped one in the dark, he could more readily and easily find it, which is a nice little tip, actually. Well, let's get into the tool set of this Cybertool M. All right, let's get started here. The first thing we're gonna look at is the little pin blade. And the, most of these tools that you see on here, most of these implements are gonna be pretty common with uh, most Victorinox knives that come with the, and you can see he's really used this one too. This, um, this, is, this has worn in really well. And the first one is the little pin blade. Always nice to have an extra knife. Of course, me personally, well, maybe not in this knife, but in some of the smaller knives, I prefer something that's, uh, I, I would prefer to have a fingernail cleaner instead of that, but to each their own. Then you have the knife blade, the main knife blade. Now the knife blade on, on these is, well, actually all the steel that they use in, in all their implements, it's gonna have that higher chromium content, gonna be more rust resistant than competitors, but it's also going to uh, be softer steel than competitors. So while it doles out a, quite a bit quicker than what you get from such as like 420HC out of Leatherman or especially 154CM, uh, the benefit is you can sharpen them up really, really, really fast. The next tool is something that I think that, you know, this is one of my favorite tools from Victorinox on their 91 millimeters. I think their 91 millimeter scissors is like the perfect size EDC scissors, and they come, they're just so incredibly sharp. They just work well. The only thing that I didn't like about Victorinox scissors was the, it just seems like it's a weak spring, but you can easily replace the spring. I've kind of gotten over that. I've gotten so used to my surge with its lever spring that. It, it, it's something that bothered me about Victorinox knives, but I, I really have kind of gotten over it because they're just, the quality of the scissors is just so incredibly good. Now the next tool is something that's gonna be useful in a tool like this actually. Normally I don't like these pliers because they're kind of useless for major tasks, but this is kind of built around the, the tech industry. So you're working with components that are a lot, lot smaller. And I can definitely see the benefit of having these little pliers in, in a situation like that. Now, these are not gonna do construction type work, but in tech work, these are great. I could really, really see how these could be incredibly useful. So the pliers definitely come with it. I'm gonna skip over the driver just for a second. Now, these two tools are pretty much what we expect from, from uh, you pretty much get them in all Victorinox tools. So you have your, your large screwdriver that has the integrated bottle cap lifter and then the wire stripper. It locks into the 90 degree position. So if you need to get a little bit more torque on something, you have the ability to do so. And then it will open up to the full open position, which is also very great. And the, the, the uh, tension that's on that slip joint, you can hear that thing snap in. It is really solid. It's really impressive for a slip joint. And then on the other side, we have their uh, mini driver. I think that's two millimeter if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, three millimeter. 
and then their can opener, which Victorinox can openers just work great. I'm actually going to leave that driver for the very last. Uh, then we have the corkscrew. I don't know that a corkscrew is the best tool here. I think I still would have preferred a solid number two Phillips there. Um, I think because this is kind of tech tool oriented, I just don't see the need for, for that particular uh, implement. But the benefit of that is you get the little micro driver with it. So that's a plus. And then behind there, you have the little stainless steel straight pin. And because these are plus scales, uh, you get all the great scale tools, which we'll look at in just a second. This one also has an awl and the all-purpose hook. And then on the scale tools, you have your tweezers. And then on the opposite side, you have your toothpick and the ballpoint pen. And we'll just use Felix Immler's little trick of sliding that ballpoint pen into the hook set the hook down and now you have created a nice little writing surface that's actually a pretty pretty great little trick and I like showing that off and that is Felix Emler's not mine uh, not my little trick but uh, that's where I learned it off his channel great channel by the way check it out if you have time the last tool on here is the driver and the bit kit so the driver it will lock into 90 degree position as well and then it locks in to the open position this driver is really impressive to me i was amazed at how good this thing actually is and it actually has let's see it has eight different drivers and two different nut drivers so it's actually a two stage in here and it may be difficult to see i'll try to line that so you've actually on the top you've got a five millimeter and then down below which is the diameter of these uh, bits is a four millimeter so you actually have kind of two wrenches in one right there then all of the bits are double sided and they use a ball detent as a retention the only thing i wish that victorinox did is because they have these i wish they had a more complete set of these bits because i could definitely see a lot of people buying that set and then mix and matching to fit their needs a little better so this one comes with the the uh, small flat driver and then this is a number two phillips actually it's actually pretty good and then that will sit in there and then on the next tools uh, you have an allen head i'm not sure what the dimensions are on here i'll, I'll, I'll have to check on the website and i'll just kind of link them in here and then you have a Torx driver on the opposite side. Your next bit is double Torx on both sides. And then the last is, this is a combination. Actually, that is, what is that? That's a, that's a number one and that's an aught is what it is. So you have an aught screwdriver, a one screwdriver, and a two Phillips. So that's, those are, that's really nice. What really impresses me about this is, is how solid that driver is i you know again this is my first experience with the tech tools the cyber tools from victorinox i was immediately impressed with how good these things are there's only one thing that i wish they would have done different um i wish they would have changed the placement around just a little bit i would i would this is kind of offset in my case if we're looking at it like this is offset to the right a little bit I think it would have been better had they tried to center that up a little bit more it'd still be off center from the side but it would it, i think it would just work a little better i do love the fact that it will lock into 90. now it's not it's not as as pronounced of a lock-in well got that let me sit that bit back in there i didn't have that recessed all the way there we go uh, it's not as pronounced of, of a lock-in in the 90 degree position as like this screwdriver is, but it is definitely stable enough. I, I just like that driver. Uh, now, the cyber tools are a little expensive, and the only reason I never got them is because I just don't have a need. I work, you know, I'm blue collar, so I work in construction and stuff. I don't work with tech stuff very often, uh, few and far between. And so I didn't have a need to, to have this type of tool, but... I'm really impressed 
with this cyber tool in it has a lot of usable good usable features and surprisingly enough this is probably one of the first victorinox knives that i actually think this little plier set uh is in the right tool this time you have it in in other tools and i guess if you're a fisherman or something it might be helpful to be a little hook be gouger or something but well I and mean, then if you have the champ you have that anyway but uh in tech industry i could see where this the pliers are definitely definitely more useful this has this has been a look at the cyber tool m and honestly uh not being someone who needs this type of tool it's actually kind of impressive it really is the cyber tool m ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one